Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and to our North Wales walking tour series. Today, like in our other videos, we are continuing to venture around the north of Wales and in particular we are in Flintshire. After following a lovely and quiet walking trail that is suitable for all walks of life, hidden inside a saturated and discreet forest lies the infamous Ulo Castle. One of our favourite things to do is explore castles that are hidden, perhaps not very well known and off the beaten track, and Yulo is exactly that. The origins of this ruin are somewhat unclear, but the earliest date of a castle built here was from 1257, after Cluellen Fower captured this particular area of Flintshire from the English crown. The castle resembles a Mott and Bailey keep with its earthworks uncovering how this would have formed. It stands facing eastward and above the Weepree Valley. It is defended on three sides by steep slopes. This meant all Clewellyn had to do was dig a deep ditch across to create a defensible site for his fortress. The ruins consisted of a D-shaped tower of sandstone with an oval enclosure. And the tower had a single first floor hall that stood above a lower ground floor chamber and defensive arrow slits were placed in the curved sides of the tower. Later on, with a phase of construction, a curtain wall was added as well as west tower. Although there is no link that they are connected to one another, and it is possible it could have maintained separate entrances and even occupied by other families. Eulo was taken by Edward I in his first invasion into Wales in 1277 and was never again used for military purposes, gradually decaying into the romantic ruin that we see today. One of the greatest things about visiting Eulo is that you can actually head up the steep and narrow staircases that take you to the battlements above, where you can overlook Weepree Forest and understand why this was such a great place to have a castle. After we visited huge impressive fortresses like Harlech, Caerphilly and Conway, Yulo is both a surprise and a breath of fresh air. It gives us the chance to appreciate Wales's smaller castles, which were built for entirely different reasons than their mighty, better known cousins. So the next time you find yourself in the area, do yourself a favour and take the time to visit here. It's free, open access 24-7 and is a different yet wonderful Welsh castle experience. If you've enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, leave a comment, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. In the next video of our walking tour series, we are visiting the stunning Flint Castle. Till next time.